What is up, everybody? Tars22 here. Um, today we're back with more Minecraft. Um, and we're gonna start a Skyblock series, I guess, on a server to. Try and do stuff, so. Yeah. I don't know. Ooh. All right, now I'm just going to put all this stuff in here. Let's just get started and see where stuff goes. Okay. Um. It's actually before I do that. Okay, it's about to go out of whack for just a second. Okay.
I don't even know if someone's talked to me on in chat on the game or not, so if they have, I apologize. wait to mine anything until that's I'm gonna need more torches, hold on. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Um, oh, and the mine, the... It's mine superior that I'm on, if you guys want to join up.
just see. I don't know. Okay, so I can't sell Andesite. Good to know. I'm doing well. Hyper Luigi, sorry, I just. I'm like zoned out so fucking badly. How are you doing, Hyper Luigi? <laughs> it's been a minute. I've just, uh. Could be better, personally. How are you doing? Up 
apparently I just um, Thank you. Crap. Where's my phone? Sorry, I just got notified of a couple things. underscore dash I don't know what account I'm signed into on Minecraft. Level type? I'm sorry, I'm... I talk frick. Sorry, Harper Luigi, are you talking about the game or about the uh this? Oh, uh I'm on a server on Mind Superior. I'm playing uh a version of Skyblock, basically. Um, hold on, I have to have to close this down real quick. So the I'm gonna pause. Back to recording. Hello, guys. Um, sorry about all that. Um, county, build your own town from the ground up. So there's survival. That you can do there's towny events skyblock and lifesteal i'm personally doing skyblock um use andesite to do this.
Okay. Just doing this so I can see. Um, I did not mob vote. I am one of the many people who are boycotting the mob vote because I think all three should be added personally. But I know in the end, it's one of them is going to be added eventually. But I personally think all sh three should have been added. So I didn't uh, mob vote. Dude, if I had to vote for one, it would have been the penguin. Like, I adore penguins. Penguins are by far my favorite real, quotation mark, real uh, animal. But my favorite all-time animal is our unicorns, um, for reasons having to relate to my uh, brain injury. Um, I think the armadillo, sadly, is going to win just because of wolf armor, but in order, I personally think, in order for wolf armor to be added, you also need to change the uh, AI of the wolves, because they teleport randomly, and they, they'll teleport into lava, they'll teleport off the edge in the void, like, they're going to eventually end up demonetizing because of the AI that the thing has, but people have been wanting Wolf Armor forever, so I agree it should be added. But at the same time, I think the crabs should be added, because, like, for me, I'm a builder. I can't always reach the furthest to... Excuse me, to... Uh, words. Can't always reach the farthest to build where I want to build, so... The Crab Claw would be a good addition for that. Um, but at the same time, like, penguins, they're adorable. They're cute as hell. They should be added because they're adorable, as I just said.
didn't mean to place the torch down. I mean the... I didn't mean to till that area. So this is the block shop. I have wood. Redstone, decor, banner, no. Um, possibly. I think I'd have to buy stuff from the shop to get it, or buy stuff from, um, or have to buy some from actual, their actual online store where you spend real money to get it done and stuff, but... I personally am not going to spend real money to do it. Just because... Yeah. Also, I did order a new mic, so hopefully it's, it's on its way. It's from Best Buy, so hopefully the audio will get better. Um, my headphones did just break recently, so I can't... So you won't be hearing that audio anymore. In the original, like the OG, OG Skyblock, without the mods and the server additions and stuff, you can 100% get villagers to spawn. Because eventually you'll get to islands and stuff where there are villagers that you can interact with and everything, but... On here, I don't know. So, the job I had was, uh, I was Amazon Delivery. I was making okay-ish money. Um, it was $19 an hour. Uh, I was taking home 650 a week. Uh, but then... I'm supposed to be, I'm supposed to deliver over 500 packages an hour, and with and like I tried to tell them, hey, I have a disability, I can't go that fast. Can I get accommodations? Can I get this to like help me keep the job, but not have to do that go that fast because I can't with the way my ankle is. For those of you who don't know, I cannot physically move my left ankle. Um ankle or toes because I had a paralyzation when I was hit by a car in 2015. Um, so I can't physically move my left ankle or toes under any circumstance. But, so, I can't walk, I can't, well, I can't walk, I can't run too well, and that's basically what the Amazon um, job wanted me to do. So, anyway, I went up to their HR department and I'm like, hey, can I get some accommodations so I don't have to, I get less packages a day, whatever, because I can't run, I can't jump up 500 stairs at once to 
deliver the packages like you want me to do. And they were like, ha, huh, no. You can't get accommodations. So, well, HR said, yes, I can get accommodations. So I went through trying to get accommodations with them. And it, I was at the job for three and a half weeks. And then when I got to them, I was like, hey, can I, like, towards the end, around week three, so I still had a half week left, I went back to HR and I'm like, hey, I haven't received any emails from you, I haven't received any updates, I haven't received anything asking or telling me if I can get, um, if I can go along with my accommodations, if I can go slower or whatever, because at that point I was on week three of the nursery roads, what they called it. Week one, they just have you deliver a third, or no, a fourth of the packages. Week two, they have you deliver half the packages you're supposed to. Week three, they're supposed to, you're supposed to deliver three-fourths of the packages you were supposed to. And then by week four, you're supposed to deliver 100% of the packages, so like all 400 and some odd packages a, a day. And I'm like, cool, um... Can I get accommodations? Because by week three, I was supposed to be delivering three-fourths of the packages, and I could not deliver um, three-fourths of the packages, because I couldn't run. Like, I was driving the speed limit, I was doing all that stuff that was required of me, but they had me delivering about 300 to 320 packages a day, because this was during the peak, or this was right before... Um, Prime Day 2.0 or whatever, October 11th and 12th. So I was like, hey, can't, like, this was the week before, and I'm like, hey, can I get some accommodations? So I'm not as, like, pressured and stuff, and they, HR was like, yeah, we're working on it, we're working on it. But then by the end of week three, my supervisor was like, hey, so you're not going fast enough, you're not going the speed we need you to go, and um, we don't see you have any accommodations on your um, on your profile, we see that you don't have any of this on your profile, any of that on your profile, so unfortunately we're going to have to let you go because you're not going the speed we want you to go, and you don't have any accommodations saying that you need to go slower, or that you need to do this, 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 or this, so sorry, but you're fired. And I'm like, but I needed accommodations, and HR was working on them, and it was just all a whole shit show of stuff. Like, I'd worked for them before at their fulfillment center, and I don't know why I ever went back to them for their uh, delivery job, because the fulfillment center was a shit show in and of itself that just almost destroyed my life. So I don't know why I went back to them in the first place. But. So, I just. Oh, auto restart. Server restart in five minutes. Yeah, and, um, if that wasn't bad enough, they say that they were over-hiring people. And that, um, if you have accommodations, you can't request overtime, you can't, you have less, you have to work less hours a week, you have to, um, like my wife, she still works at the fulfillment, at the fulfillment center, and one of her friends has accommodations, it took her friend, like, a year to get the accommodations she needed, which was bullshit in and of itself. But, um, her friend can't take overtime, her friend can't take, um... She was given more, like, holidays or whatever, but she... It still... I mean, I guess that's nice, but... At the end of the day, I don't care if I have more holidays or anything like that. I just want... I want to do my job the best I can, but... 
I can't with the ankle and with the shit that I have going on with my body. But, like, her friend, instead of working, like, a 40-hour work week, like, 40 to 60 hour, because she was working the 12 hour work days, 12 hour weekends, she now can only work 30 hours of work week, because she needs accommodations, and they say that if you have accommodations, you can't work more than 30 hours a week, because you have accommodations, you have an injury, you have a reason to not work, so therefore we're not going to give you more than 30 hours a week, because you don't need more than 30 hours a week to work. Because you have accommodations. And then they try and get um, more work. Like if they need more money, say during the holiday season or whatever, that's normally the time that you can get as much work as you want to get as much money as you want to for everything, you know? And Amazon is like, huh, no. Uh, you can't do that because, uh, see, because you have accommodations, we're not going to allow you to, uh, take more time off or to get more time to work because if you can't work a solid 40 to 60 hour work week, even though I could work a solid 40 to 60 hour work week, they just wouldn't allow me to because of my accommodations I was trying to get or my wife's friends' accommodations, they were like, nope. Because you can't work the amount of time we require of you to work without ac without accommodations. We're not going to allow you to work any extra time because of your accommodations. So it's basically like, if you have an injury or a disability with Amazon, don't report it, and you can work fine. You can work any... Uh, any hours you want, any time you want, no matter what. But if you report it, they just kind of throw you in the crapper and are like, hey, guess what? You can't work when you want. You can't work how you want. You can't do this. You can't do that. You can't do anything you want to do anymore because you work for Amazon and we're the best company in the world. We have competitive pay. They do not have fucking competitive pay. Like, they're, um, they pay $19 an hour where everywhere else, well, they pay 18 to 19 an hour, but if you're seasonal, they pay 17 an hour, which is just even worse. At least where I live, they pay 17 an hour for seasonal. Um, they are like, hey, guess what? Um... They don't want to pay more because they're like, well, insurance is going to come out. And guess what? It's already competitive pay because it's 19 an hour. Where everywhere else is like 20 to 25 an hour, the warehouse jobs anyway. But Amazon doesn't want to pay more than 19 because they're cheap bastards and Bezos just needs a fifth yacht. Because he already has two yachts. One specifically for a helicopter and that's it. And one specifically for him and his buddy buddies. And he has, like... Hold on, I need to look this up. Oh, it's resetting. Let's kick from the Skyblock. Skyblock server, yay. Skyblock. Well, it looks like I can't go to the Skyblock server right now because it's automatically restarting. I just hope I don't get banned from Twitch for saying all this shit about Amazon because Amazon um, runs Twitch, so unable to connect to Skyblock. Please try again later. Okay. Lifesteal SMP. Um, Skyblock. Events. I 
I cannot join events. Cool. I don't know what town he is, but I'll just see. But it's just... Amazon is a bullshit company at the end of the day. I'm on fire! But I agree that um, the job should be more about safety and more about um, stuff like that and less to do with like speed and pushing numbers because a lot of people have issues that they need to do and Amazon is normally like, oh yeah, we, uh, we are very big in um, accommodating people, we are very big in making sure that everyone can work for us and everything, and then when you actually try and work for them, it's a whole other story. Which is just... It's bullshit. It's bullcrap. I, I, so I don't... I don't... I don't agree with a lot of the rules and a lot of the... things that... Yeah. Amazon runs Twitch. Amazon bought Twitch from whoever made it. I don't know who made it, but Amazon is a Twitch company. That's why you can subscribe to people or donate or gift subs with uh, Amazon Prime. Because Twitch is run by Bezos and all those people. I don't have nice things to say about. <laughs> My wife doesn't have nice things to say about them either, but I'll save that for a YouTube-specific episode, not a Twitch stream, because I don't want to get banned. I get that. My mother, um, actually just became a NICU nurse, nurse, a NICU nurse here in Utah. Um, she's just trying to work her way up to becoming, like, a TBI nurse or a, uh, intensive care nurse because of everything that I went through. She wants to try and learn it all and make sure that she can be there for me at home or whatever if I ever go down or something bad happens or whatever, you know? But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna keep my uh, issues and my words and stuff silent on Twitch for now until I am on YouTube and then everything will come to light. Well, actually, no, I needed half of that at least to get back up here. Back up, but I'm not. 
I haven't been on the computer in a minute, so I'm not used to pushing buttons. It's getting harder for me to be on during the day, just because so much shit is happening during the day that I just haven't had time to be on during the day, unfortunately. Um, I am going to be doing a uh, can crushing, like satisfaction can crushing video here shortly, hopefully within the next couple days. Um, I personally just always enjoy those videos where like the machines crush cans down till they're flat and stuff. Yeah. My mom loves it. She's also, um, she mainly just became the nurse, uh, A, to help me, and B, it's good money. Um, and a lot of, and she's saying that she's getting burnt out because she's working, like, three jobs. I just lost all those items. But at this day and age, you kind of have to work three jobs in order to make it in life, so. But yeah, hopefully I will be doing that can crushing video soon. I have quite a lot of cans to crush. Um, and it's not going to be like sped up or time lapsed or anything, because I see a lot of videos of people time lapsing them crushing cans, or them melting cans down in a forge, or whatever, and I just, I personally don't like the sped up versions, I like the, like, take your time to crush the cans, take your time to do it, like, let's talk, and let's actually see what's going on while the cans are being crushed, so, um, I am saving all, like, the tabs and everything off the top of the cans, um, for art reasons, I'm actually, uh, words, I actually have an, I'm setting up an Etsy site, um, I already have a bunch of resin coasters with bottle caps that I have put up there on Etsy, I have a bunch of just stuff I'm putting up on Etsy, my wife is also going to start putting stuff up on the Etsy account, um, and like everything that I post, or not post, but everything I sell on Etsy, I have um, custom like cards with stickers and stuff that I just throw in there for a, that's like a freebie and stuff. And for anyone who says that they're like from Twitch or they're from uh, YouTube or whatever, I sign the back of the card and I sign the back of the... Uh, stuff that I put out. I will get you the link as soon as it's up. Um, right now my wife and I are still in like the development, the development stages of the account. Cause like right now I have like three, four coasters. I've put up there to sell, but I haven't officially opened opened the account yet to the public. Um, this works because we're trying to get, like, a good... No, you're totally fine. Like, I, I get it. A lot of, um... A lot of my family has also been like, When is it open? Is it open yet? Can we buy stuff from you? And I'm like, not yet. Just give us a minute. But, um, you're totally fine. You don't have to apologize for anything. Um, I will post the link on my YouTube channel. I'll post the link on here. Thank you. I actually have um, a couple of the coasters I have done. Is uh, uh, One of them has a leaf in it, like a beautiful fall leaf in it. One of them is just bottle caps, like, um, the metal bottle caps, like the beer bottle caps and stuff. 
of course, they're not all from beer. There's some from sodas and stuff. I have a couple um, bars um, in my area. Not just, like, beer bars, but, like, soda bars, gamer bars, stuff like that, that save their bottle caps for me. And I go run by there every week to pick them up and bring them home. And at this point, I have two of the, like, really big, huge black and yellow um, Costco bins full of cans that I, not the cans, full of, uh, bottle caps that I'm just thinking of making stuff to create with. Like, my wife is making, um, sunflower coasters out of bottle caps and stuff. And I don't know if we're gonna create, like, a chainmail armor type thing with all of the soda can tabs, but... There's a few things we're trying to think of to make with the soda can tabs, because we have over 6,000 soda tabs. So, that I know that's quite a lot, but we're just... We don't know what to do with them at the moment. And, um... I do have a forge, and I am making custom... Uh... custom melted down ingots and stuff for people like I've for, for a couple friends and stuff I've made initials I've made their initials for their birthday or I've for my friend's wedding I have made his initials and her initials out of brass copper and aluminum and Nordic gold which is basically all three of those combined and I'm planning on throwing up a couple of those on the Etsy site as well, but those are going to be a little more just because it's hard to get my hands on all that stuff. It's easy with the aluminum, so the aluminum might be a little cheaper, but the copper and brass, I have to actually take apart, like, TVs, and I have to take apart sinks and all that other stuff to get those materials. So, that takes me a bit longer to... Gosh, I'm going to replace that actually with cobblestone, because I, I hate that I keep breaking that. Okay, that one's not moss, that one's just grass, so that one's not going to break as easy. Um, I think I'm going to break some of these torches. Just so things will start spawning at night and I can actually get uh, the swordsmanship or whatever. Ooh, I reached level 7 in mining. Yeah, you don't. I'm not saying you have to, like, buy the most expensive shit. I don't. It's whatever you guys want to buy, you can buy. My wife um, is making fluorescent artwork stuff, because she loves fluorescent colors. Um, if you go to my Facebook account, you'd see it that, uh, ah, where's the game? There it is. Um, you'd see that she loves fluorescence. Like, um, Out of here, you stupid ad. Um, everything fluorescent I wear, everything fluorescent she wears, is because of her. But, uh, yeah, for those who are in Twitch chat. There's a link to my Facebook account. <laughs> um, but, yeah, again, it doesn't... 
How long have I been recording for? Holy shit, I have been recording for 56 minutes. Okay, so those of you watching on YouTube, thank you all so much for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed episode one of Skyblock on the Mind Superior server. The um the code to get in is join.mcs.gg. That's how you get onto the server, if you guys would like to. Um, make sure resource packs are enabled. Um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you beautiful. Oh, if you guys are watching on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, if you haven't already, to be notified whenever I upload anything new. And... I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your night. Bye, guys.